Okay, good morning, everyone. Going over the Tiva here. Did Tiva this morning took a stop? This is still holding the resistance. Hasn't gone over 1650. I'm out of it. I took the stop. I, I told people if we're still in it, 1655. Let's just see where it went to, 49. See, I mean, I think it's going to be hard for it to get over this, but you can't deny the fact the market's falling and broke the low and is red, and this is not going back down again. So even if this does hold this area and comes in, it's a baby little scalp in here to get it down, and I'm not sure if it does because it pushed back aggressively, market's red, and it held the absolute maximum number that should hold today if it's going to hold today, and, uh, you know, I didn't get back into this. I didn't get back into this CAG looked a lot better. I still think this is lower. I definitely think this is lower, but whether or not it is today or not, it's going to depend on whether or not it holds 1650. That's the do or die number for this. So if you're still in this, put the stop at 1655 and call it a day if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if it doesn't go over that, I just, you know, I still would be looking for a small target in this now today. 1625, 1630. Let's look at the 30 minute. But remember again, market's red. Market's red, and this needs to get going back down again if it's going to. This really isn't getting bought. It's just is having a pushback today. But whether or not it holds is yet to be determined. So Tiva took a loss in the Tiva today, but in the overall chart, it's lower. It did gap down today. It was a continuation follow-through gap, but it didn't have the sell-off right away into the open, and I'm out of this at this point. So good luck for the people who are still in it. I definitely have a stop at 1655. In fact, you could kill it if it goes over 1650. And we'll see where it goes. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.